question is with necessary diagram explain the concept of serial adder with accumulator okay this is from the question jan feb 2020 and 21 so here uh, this this is the block diagram of your serial adder with accumulator which basically consists of two shift register shift register one shift register two and a combinational circuit that is which acts as a serial adder uh, which consists of the full ladder and the D flip flop and the third part that is called as your control unit. The first shift register acts as an accumulator whereas the second shift register acts as an add and register. So both of these uh, shift register consist of the data X and Y that has to be added. The accumulator and the add and register are connected to your full ladder which uh, so here the X naught and Y naught will be your first input to your full ladder okay. The sum once uh, you you have got your sum and the carry the sum will be driven back to your accumulator and uh, it will be stored in the accumulator whereas the data will get shifted parallelly. So whereas in the case of uh, your carry the carry which is generated will be stored in the carry flip flop okay. Initially we are assuming the carry uh, that is uh, C naught is equal to 0. And you know that here there is a control unit which starts uh, by means of a start signal. So the control uh, unit basically consists of it uh, operates the three signals that is one is your shift signal, serial input and the third one is your clock signal. So it gets started when you give the start signal that is designated by ST. Okay. So let us consider the first uh, case when you have the start signal or you, you will have your shift uh, to be equal to 1. So when you have the shift is equal to 1 the serial input data will be entered in. So since the serial adder is a combinational circuit the sum and the carry will be generated without depending on your clock signal. Okay. So when your shift is equal to 1 your shift is connected to your clock enable also right. Your, when your clock is enabled during the negative triggering edge because it is a bubble during the negative triggering edge what will happen the sum will be shifted to your accumulator and the carry will be shifted to your flip flop. So this is the basic working principle of your serial adder with accumulator. Now let us see the four conditions. Now let us see the four instance of your operation of your a serial adder with accumulator. So let us take your time period T naught. So the time period T naught it is the before before the sh first shift is happening. Okay, before the shift, what is happening? Your uh, uh, data will be stored here x3, x2, x1, x0, and your y3, y2, y1, y0. Your signal y is a cyclic uh, register. Okay. So after one shift your y0 will be shifting to the place of y3 and y3 will be shifted to your y2 and so on okay. So it is a cyclic shift. So at t0 what happened before the first shift you will be having the addition of your x0 and y0 and your sum and carry will be generated. So initially your carry c0 is taken as equal to 0 okay. So this is at the time instant t0. At time instant t1 what will happen after the first shift. When shift is equal to 1. So after the first shift what will happen? The sum and the carry will be shifted to see here. Your pink color S0 is now shifted to your accumulator. And Y0 is now shifted to your in the place of Y3. Now Y3 will be shifted. And here X3, X2 will be shifted to the right one shift. Okay. And your uh, parallelly what will happen? Your carry will be stored in your flip flop. Okay. Now the so now at time t2 what, what is happening in time t2 that is it is after the second shift. After the second shift what will happen the now the sum s1 will be sh uh, shifted to your accumulator and you will be having s1, s0, x3, x2 similarly y1 will be shifted here. Now you will be having the addition what will be your output output will be s2 and c3 parallelly your uh, carry will be stored in your flip flop. Now after the time period 3 uh, this is happening after the third shift. After the third shift the sum S2 will be shifted here and Y2 will be shifted here. Now what will be your uh, com since it's a com combinational circuit you will be getting the sum and the carry. What will be your sum S3 and carry will be equal to C4. Okay. <coughs> the carry will be stored in your flip flop. At the last time period T4 what will happen after the fourth shift now your all the that is your S3 will be shifted here now your accumulator will be filled by the sum.
and your y3, y2, y1, y0 will be in your initial position. Okay. Now your sum and the carry will be stopped. It is unused. That's why it is unused here. Okay. So now this is your one of the example of your uh, addition. Okay. So let us assume that the initial accumulator content is equal to 0, 1, 0, 1 and your add end is equal to 0, 1, 1, 1. So this is your table which gives you the values at different instant of time. Let us consider the first instant of time T0. So T0 is before the first shift, right? So before the first shift, what is happening? Your X will contain the data 0, 1, 0, 1 and Y will contain the data that is your add-in data 0, 1, 1, 1. And you are assuming that your previous carry is equal to 0. Now what will be your sum and carry? So your sum will be equal to X0, Y0 plus your CI, right? So what will be your value 1 plus 1 it is 1 0 1 0 plus 0 it is 1 0. So your sum will be equal to 0 carry will be equal to 1 right. Now what will happen in your uh, time period T1 that is after your first shift. So after your first shift what is happening your sum will be transferred to your X3 right and uh, all the X3 will be shifted to your X2 X2 to X1 so on so 0 0 1 0 similarly what is happening to your y your y0 will be shifted to y3 y3 to y2 y2 to y1 etc so 1 0 1 1 so you will be having your previous carry to be shifted so now what will be your addition 0 plus 1 plus 1 again it is 1 0 your sum is equal to 0 carry is equal to 1 what will happen to your time period t2 that is after the second shift similar procedure so your sum will be again shifted to your x3. The previous shifting happens one bit to the right. It shifts one bit to the right. Similarly, your y previous uh, a y0 value will be shifted to your y3 and one bit towards your right. Now what will happen? The carry will be shifted here. Now the sum, what will be your sum and carry? 0 plus, sorry, 1 plus 1 plus 1. So 1 plus 1 plus 1, it is 1, 1. So sum will be equal to 1, carry will also be equal to 1. What will happen to your time period T3? That is after your third clock pulse or third shift. What is happening? Your sum will be again, 1 will be shifted to your X3 and all other data is 1 bit towards your right. Similarly, Y also will be shifted 1 bit to the right. Same procedure, okay? Your carry uh, will be carry forwarded. So what will be now the addition 0 plus 0 plus 1? So 0 plus 0 plus 1 it is 1. So sum is equal to 1 carry is equal to 0. Okay it goes on. Now at time period T4 what is the last instant of time. Now you can see that your sum will be 1 will be shifted to your x3. Now when you see it carefully your the value of x is equal to 1 1 0 0. That is nothing but your sum value. Okay the sum will be stored in your accumulator. Okay. Same procedure. Now here you will be having it your sum and the carry to be unused. So this is the end of your addition. So till now we have explained the functional uh, function of your serial adder and your shifts right. So there is one more important uh, uh, control unit okay. So based on control unit now if you have to explain the control unit let us um, explain by means of your state graph okay state graph for your adder control so what will be your control signal so it it shifts four states right s0 s1 s2 s3 after s3 it goes back to s0 so how will it start shifting so once you get the start signal when start is equal to 1 it will be shifting uh, to your s1 next state so when s uh, start is equal to 0 it will remain in the same state s0 that's why here it is start dash that is output is equal to 0 when start is equal to 0 it will be remaining in the same state s0 when you have the start signal as the input then you have shift also will be equal to 1 okay so start when you have start is equal to 1 shift is equal to 1 you will be having it will be shifting to your next state that is your s1 now what is happening to the next cases now this dash represents the circuit operation continues regardless of the start signal so your uh, uh, it continue, once you get the start is equal to 1 it continues the operation till the end that's why you, it is represented by a dash okay so when you have again shift is equal to 1 what will happen your uh, s1 from the state s1 it moves to your s2 similar from s2 to s3 from s3 to s0 so here again 
so in this case from s3 to s0 the addition will be completed so this is your state graph for your serial adder control so from the state state graph can you uh, draw the state table so let let me take means a state table you are going to represent the four state s0 s1 s2 s3 and the next state okay present state and next state and your shift signal this is your sh okay when shift is equal to 0 and when shift is equal to 1 what will be your uh, state output so let us consider the first state s0 when uh, when it is in the s0 what is your next state when uh, start is equal to 0 it is remaining in the same state s0 right when start signal is equal to 1 what is happening it is shifting to your next state that is your s1 so when it is in the s1 now let me take the uh, state s1 in the s1 what is happening no matter whether it is your whether it is your start is 0 or 1 it is moving to the next state that is your s2 so it is moving to the next state that is s2 similarly at the s2 no matter uh, you, uh, your uh, start is 0 or 1 it, it will be moving to the next state that is your s3 similarly in from the s3 what is happening it is moving to s0 so these are the different next states now what is happening the corresponding output so what will be uh, happening in your corresponding output when shift is equal to 0 when shift is equal to 0 your output is equal to only for s0 your output is equal to 0 right all other cases your shift is equal to 1 your output is equal to 1 right so that is the reason for all other cases you have the output is equal to 1 now once you have done the state table you are going for state assignment that is you are going to replace this states by means of binary numbers so if i take it as s0 s1 s2 s3 now you have uh, variable two variable right so you'll be have four combination 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so let me take the variables as a and b now same thing you are going to replace it by binary number okay that is your next state present state now what is your next state a plus b plus so this will be your a plus b plus for start is equal to zero this is for a plus b plus for start is equal to 1 so same uh, states you are going to replace it by binary so when s0 is when start is equal to 0 what is happening your s0 it is in the s0 state so it is 0 0 s0 is denoted by 0 0 now whereas for the next when start is equal to 1 it is going to your s1 s1 is given by 0 1 Similarly, in the uh, case of S1, your next state are S2. S2, S2 is denoted by 1, 0. So, 1, 0, 1, 0. For S2, your next state is S3. For S3, your next state is S0. So, this will give you the assignment, uh, your binary assignment. Now, based on this, you can go for your K-map simplifi simplification. So, what are your K-map simplification? You are going for your all the states, A plus B plus. That is your next state, A plus B plus and your shift signal. So this is your Karnanoff map for your A plus. Your what are the variables you are taking? Start A B. Okay. So based on this, you fill the data. Okay. So what is your for 0, 0, 0? Start is equal to 0, 0, 0. What is the value? You are getting it as 0. Okay. For example, let me take start is equal to 1. 1, 1, 1. So start is equal to 1, 1, 1. So what so what is your data a plus is equal to 0 right 1 1 1 so you have got it as 0 let me take the other one example 0 1 0 okay start is equal to 0 and it is 1 0 now what is the value for a plus it is equal to 1 so 0 1 0 it is 1 similarly fill all the data and do the simplification so you are getting it as your uh, the, this will be ultimately the input to the flip flop right da is equal to a x or b Similarly, you can do it for your B plus as well as shift signal. So shift signal you are taking from here. If you want, you can uh, write the same uh, signal shift 0, 1. You can copy it down here. Okay. And you can do the simplification. So B plus, I hope you can understand it. You can do it on your own. So B plus C here, you have only 1, 1. Totally, you have only 3 ones here. Okay. So for what is the value? 0, 1, 0 and 1 1 0 and 1 0 0 so these are the three values where you have b plus is equal to 1 so these are the three values you have b plus is equal to 1 whereas shift is very easy you have only one value it is equal to 0 0 0 0 right 0 0 0 you have 0 all other is equal to 1 so this is your simplification of your 
your control signal using k map okay the last uh, topic you are going to cut short your uh, same diagram serial adder with your accumulator into a serial processing unit that is your with a control unit two shift register and a combinational circuit the example which is given here is your previous serial adder this is not included uh, for your corresponding question but this is just for your understanding okay so your serial processing unit process the data one bit at a time it consists of two shift registers same thing your control will signal unit will uh, <coughs> will control the shift and the clock signal and you have a combinational circuit so uh, what is the difference between these two graph is that this is a state graph of your central uh, serial processing unit okay so here uh, you have the, here there is no here there is an addition there is a stop signal here uh, there is no stop signal so once you have the start is equal to 1 so for only one clock time then the control state a uh, graph stops when it returns to s0 but in this case if it doesn't stop, if S, uh, if ST is equal to 1 after the shifting also, then if it is not stopping, then in, you have to have an additional stop state. Shifting it once again. So this is the difference between these two diagrams.